What did he ever? Just no comparison to athletic ability. Speed's going. Michelle straight up the middle. It's a foot race. Sonny Michelle. All right, this is a little B Sports Report here. Um, I don't know why, but I, I decided I'm going to break down. I think your top four teams, as I said in a previous video, uh, are Kentucky at number four, uh, Auburn at number three, Alabama at number two, and Georgia at number one. Um, but I, I've decided I'm going to break down those four teams' uh, schedules. Um, I mean, well, even as big as a, I'm, just a, I'm such a big fan, I hate – Louisville's that I'm actually going to do another video after this one, and I'm going to break down Louisville's. I think they're they got six games left too, so uh, I'm going to break down their last six too. Um, but uh, so on this video right here, I'm going to do is going to be Georgia and Kentucky. Um, then we're going to do another video. It's going to be Auburn, Alabama. Both of their schedules are going to be on there. Uh, it might not have the highlight reels like you'll see on here, but um, let's go and get this started. Uh, like I said, like in the previous video, uh, Georgia's got Missouri coming to town this weekend. Uh, I don't think that game's going to be close. I think Missouri's offense might be a trouble. I really don't know. Um, the only bad thing about Missouri's offense is they got that. Uh, up tempo, you know, fast pace. They're not. They're just going to, you know, snap the ball, right, snap after snap. So Georgia's defense is going to be, you know, athleticism and um, how you would put it. Um, kind of lost what I'm looking for here, but uh, uh, what kind of shape Georgia's defense is in is going to be on notice here. Uh, if Georgia can keep Missouri to three downs and out. They'll be in great shape. Uh, I, like I said, I think Georgia wins this game like 63 to 3. Um, and then uh, I've actually heard that the y'all got a bye week. You got you and Florida. Both got bye weeks going into the Florida Georgia game down there in Jacksonville, where I think was it this year Florida's a home team. Um, I don't see Florida causing Georgia UGA a problem at all. Uh, I actually think this game is going to be decided by halftime again. Another one of those. Um, which is why I think it's Kentucky, Georgia for the East. That's your top two teams in the East. Uh, I don't. Unless Kentucky just struggles in the second, and coming after this bye week, I don't see a reason why Kentucky and Georgia, November 18th, and they made the showdown. But. Uh, as I am breaking down the Georgia the Georgia Florida game here, uh, I think Florida. I think Georgia wins this game. Well, we'll say forty nine to fourteen. Uh, I don't think Florida really is going to have a chance in this game. Uh, going on to your next game would be USC Junior. Uh, Old South Carolina, the Gamecocks. Uh, let me. I don't. I probably should have waited to do this video until after this week's games, but I don't. Know. I gotta get this done. Uh, Mid-season report, I guess you'd call this. Um, so, I South Carolina showed flashes last week, but I, I think Georgia's just on a totally different level right now. I think Georgia will also wins this game. They'll probably put 56 points up on on a uh, old Gamecocks here. Um, yeah, that's and that's at Athens. So yeah, fifty-six to. Well, I, I'll, I'll say South Carolina might score seven points in this game, fifty-six to seven. Um, Georgia will probably be heavy favorites. Um, then y'all play Auburn at Auburn, and uh, I think right here's where your first loss comes at. Uh, I think this is going to be the. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be your your only loss coming into the Kentucky game November eighteenth. Uh, I think Auburn's. I think uh, two defensive teams. Uh, I think two defenses are gonna step up in this game. Uh, 
2017. Auburn gets by, gets out of there with a win. Um, then we got, then the, like I like I forementioned, is Kentucky, Georgia. Uh, I could easily save this. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all just watch the next part of this video. Uh, I broke down the Kentucky Georgia game, uh, in my opinion. Then y'all got at Georgia Tech. I'm not gonna say y'all lose this game again, cause I think I mean this time it's at Georgia Tech. They got y'all at home last year, but um, I think I think Kirby Smart figures out that triple option this year and goes on and wins this game. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a blowout though. I really don't. Uh, I'm gonna say 31-24 Georgia. I don't. I I, I just think maybe y'all struggle early against the triple option. Possibly be down at halftime. Trip back in out of the eye. Inside the five. Got a couple of handfuls, and that was it. He's got up. He's explosive and is as fast as ever. Georgia takes over and Chubb straight up the middle and pulls his way down to the 35 yard line. Three yards soon for on first down. Gets the line in here. That's his one tackle. That's inside 45. Put the ball exactly where he wants to. Chubb busting outside. Chubb finds a lane down the far sideline. Here's the pitch. Did they make that look easy? That would be a big factor for Vanderbilt to make stop the run. This is such a good running game. Chubb dragging people in onto the 34. Look at this. Nobody there to make the play. Walks in the end zone. Nick Chubb is getting back to where he was. Blitz from that direction. Hit as he throws. Fumble. The ball's rolling free. It's picked up by Kentucky. And the Cats will. And it looks like Mizzou was offsides again. Johnson guns it near side. Caught. Did he stay in? Touchdown, Kentucky. Blake Bone at the left. Johnson gives it to Snell up the middle. He's got the first down and more across the 40. Cuts right at the 50. Look out. Far sideline 30. Across the 20. Hurls the tackler. Johnson drops the throw. Has time this time. Deep middle of the field. He's got Juice Johnson. Across the 30. Far sideline 20. 15. 10. 5. Touchdown. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and break down the last six games for Kentucky this year. Um, I wasn't going to do this, but you know what? I might as well go ahead and put it up. Um, as I'm a Kentucky fan, uh, I'm going to break down these last six. Well, this week we're on a bye week. Uh, come back next week. We go down to Sark Vegas. I think Kentucky uh, edges one out here, 31-28. Uh, I like what Mississippi State did against LSU, but as we come to realize, LSU really isn't that good this year. Um, but so I don't really see Mississippi State being all that big of a problem for Kentucky. Kentucky did beat them last year. Um, I know that was in Lexington. We had Georgia beat last year, too. Well, hey, that's, I don't know, man. It, this is horrible. Some of this stuff is just bad. Um, then we come home against Tennessee. I think this is when Bus Jones gets fired. Gets fired on the bus ride back. I think this might be the first time all year Kentucky blows a team out. Tennessee gets demolished by Kentucky you know, at my house, at, in Lexington and Kroger Field. You know, I'll, I will always call that Commonwealth. So in these videos, as I talk about home games and stuff, I'll probably still refer to it as Commonwealth Stadium a lot. Um, but I think Kentucky goes on and wins this game like 49-7. to uh, Tennessee just ain't got a whole lot going for them. Um, we'll see how they look after the bye week here. But uh, I don't really see nothing drastically changing here. 
Then we come, uh, we stay at home. We play uh, Ole Miss. Ole Miss, we all know they ain't real good either. I think Kentucky wins that game. Uh, that would improve us to 9-1, and one, right? 8-1. and one. We'll be 8-1 at this point in time. Um, I think, I don't know, for some reason or another, I think that game will be a little closer. It won't, it, I think Kentucky will win by two, two, we'll say two scores. Probably like ten points. Um, then we go down to Vandy, at Vandy there. Uh, I was kind of scared about this game at first, but then I realized that uh, I remember his defense has got torched by Alabama, by Florida, and then Georgia. Uh, and then they got, who was it this week? They got Ole Miss this week. That's who it is. Yeah, at Ole Miss. Uh, so, Vandy probably limped in that end of that game with, with one SEC game win. Um, so, uh, but yeah, then we go to Kentucky, Kentucky at Georgia. And uh, I know Uncle Lou. I know. You're going to say I'm freaking crazy and, you know, you're a nut. Uh, Georgia, the Florida game is for the East. And uh, after we, after y'all beat Florida, y'all might as well just go ahead and give the East to Georgia and all this other stuff. No, 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 no. Hold up one minute. If that goes to plan, just like I just said, which is kind of expected even, that Kentucky goes and wins their next four games. Coming into Georgia, we'd be 9-1. I expect Georgia to be 9-1. I think both of us will only have one loss in conference play. And I think this game's for the East. I know we lost to Florida, but I think Florida's got at least two more losses coming. And I'm going to say it right now. I'm saying it right here, right now. I think Georgia beats Florida. That's one loss. They already lost to LSU. So, a win... I think Kentucky could even, if we bring the right defense, come into Georgia, shut down your run. Jake Frum did show some deep passing ability. I will admit it. And, uh, but I think Kentucky could could beat Georgia. At Georgia. You heard it here first. Kentucky beats Georgia. And I would even say this game's going to be a shootout. 44-41, Kentucky comes out, out of Georgia, leaves Athens with the SEC East Championship and going to play Alabama in the championship game. I, even though I think Auburn could beat Alabama, nah, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, but uh, then you got uh, then Kentucky plays Louisville. I think Louisville loses to Kentucky again this year. I think uh, this was at Com- you know at Commonwealth slash Kroger Field, whatever the fuck they want to call it these days. Uh, I think I think Kentucky wins this game by ten points easily. Because uh, I mean, all it is is Lamar and a bunch of dudes. And that's kind of uh, you know kind of proven so far. Lamar Jackson doesn't have a big game. Louisville loses, uh, and he's. Not playing good in big games this year. So think about a, a rivalry game this year. I I don't think so. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, it's probably my last video of the week. I might do one more. Who knows? Uh, hope y'all tune in Sunday for Sunday's video. Uh, it, it might be another Sunday. You know, Sunday Monday video. We'll say stick. We'll stick with Sunday Monday. Uh, it might be Sunday or Monday, but uh, I'll do the the breakdown of these the games I projected this week. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep tuning in. Thank right. you. Keeper Johnson across the five hurdles a tackler and knocks.